Hi guys, Andy here and today we're checking out how to play Let Her Go by Passenger on piano or keyboard. Uh, we're going to start off just with the right hand, nice and easy for people and the song sheets and manuscript is available at andypiano.co.uk link is in the description and please subscribe to this brand new channel if you dig it so we will start off uh, with this pattern seven notes starting off with your third finger of your right hand on an a note which is uh, two octaves one above middle c Okay, so C, C, and then this A note here. And then we have third to little finger, back to third, and then to middle. One, two, three, four. One more time. And then the thumb is going to sit on the D note, just here. And then we go from the thumb to the first finger on an E and then middle finger to finish the sequence on a G. So that one more time really slowly, join in if you wish, three, four. And it does begin on beat four, so that one more time, two, three, Okay, now it's that same line three times and then there's a brief pause. It's after that pause that we have a couple more notes and it's different each time. But the first seven notes are exactly the same. So let's just do it one last time. Two, three. To finish off the first line, it's thumb to little finger on E to B. To finish off the second line, it's the same two notes but we add an A note at the end. So after the first line, da 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 Okay? And then the second line, da 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 Think about it like that and it will be easier to play. Let's try and do it. Two, Three. Same part again. Same ending, but we end on the A note. The final ending, there's a bit of a hop, skip and a jump to it. Certainly this first part, E to G. All the way up to a D note is the biggest kind of stretch, but you can jump a little bit if you want. Thumb, first finger, little finger, middle finger, middle finger. And then to finish off that line, thumb, first, middle. One more time. And that would come after. And it's the same three chords that go underneath this part and uh, are the main three chords in the song. We have a C chord with our left hand and this is going to be starting on middle C. Middle of the piano, C note. Middle C, so important. C triad to a D major triad. Remember, we hit the black note on D major to E minor. So we're coming up in a block from here, here, here. You don't move your fingers too much as to move your uh, forearm up. Okie dokie, so that was da 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 That's where we hit our C chord. Da 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 C chord. Dun dun. When the second line starts, 
D da 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 E minor back to D Play the long with me just the left hand remember this is how we get those more complex sequences that work really well together do them separately first and try and get each one up to speed individually and give it time for the two to work together when you have a few attempts at it. Um, so left hand, just the triad chords. Three, four, dun, 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 dun. D, E minor, back to D. One more time, it's the same thing the second time. Da 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 Da, dun, dun. Then you try and add the right hand over it. Let's give it a go together. One, two, three. And the final line, go back to the C again. certainly think two things that are trickiest are going to be getting this line quick enough to get it kind of up to pace of the record and then that last line it is more dexterous than other things that we've gone for on my channel so far so this is a, a bit of a step up for that but a perfect one to progress on to when you've played the other songs that are on my channel already let's just do it one more time so that everyone can follow Right hand first in two, three. Final line. And that would happen twice for the intro and then we go for um, the chorus we have a chord sequence for the chorus and a melody and we also have the chords for the verse the chorus begins uh, on a C chord and we could play this uh, still sounding quite high but let's play it in a more standard position starting off um, here and we're essentially in the, the key of G here so we're gonna go for a C chord. Well, you only need the light when it's burning back to G. Only need the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. And to do this, um, I'm going to teach this just from chord's point of view and then add the melody on top afterwards. So if you wanted to play this and sing it, um, doesn't really matter which inversion of a C chord you use. Doesn't really matter. The one thing that's really important is making sure the bass note is on the root note of the chord. So that needs to be a G. Probably play it with your little finger. Or... So that needs to be a C. Probably play that one with your little finger, going to a G. And then D, E, and then the same sequence, but it just finishes on the D. With the right hand, you can play normal triads if that's easier for you to kind of keep up with. But playing these inversions, allowing us to keep our right hand more static, is a bit more improve a level piano rather than total beginners. I'd highly recommend you having a go at it. Uh, let me demonstrate that again. If you want to have a go at it yourself along with me, feel free to... Three. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only need the sun when it starts to snow. Only now you C chord to a G chord and a D. And if you were playing this with the right hand as well, it would start on an A note. It's almost the same as this. We're moving it down an octave because we put it in the uh, same part of the song. The song's moving on there. This works great as an intro, but for the rest of the song, let's move it down a bit. Okay, the 
manuscript for that, the song sheet, is on the website below. As I say, I'm going to primarily teach this for if you want to sing and play it at the same time. So one great thing to do with these sort of pop songs that we'll be doing on my channel is hitting eighth notes with the left hand and just playing on the beat with the right hand. Really great to be able to play and sing along to, which is what I'm primarily uh, going to be teaching on this channel. Let me give you a demo of that for this chorus. And same chords as before, is that same way of playing it, but the left hand goes one and two and three and four, and the right hand just plays on the beat. One, two, three. So right hand, one, two, three, four, through your sequence, left hand. Because it's the same pattern for every chord, your hands kind of get used to it after a while. Let's give it a go together. Two, three. Well, you only need the one, and to make it sound more clever, add a D sus4 at the end. Adding a sus4 at the end of your chord sequence, especially on a D, uh, so common. Let's add that one this time. Two. Well, you only need the light. When it's burning low, only need the sun when it is minor. About to see, only know you love me when you go. Jesus four, and that would repeat twice. The sequence for the verse is E minor to C to D to B minor, which is here. Just sticking to the standard triads and playing the root note in the left hand. So E, E minor, C, D major, B minor is probably a new one for many of you. There it is, B note in the left hand, B, D and F sharp in the right hand. Let's play that together a couple of times. Standing at the bottom of your glass Hoping that one day you'll make the dream last Dreams come slow and they go so fast And holding on to the D there at the, uh, the end of the verse The same thing would happen again, let's have a go with that little technique Eights in the left hand, on the beat with the right hand Three, four Go back to the chorus. Well, you only need the light when it's need the sun when it starts to snow. Okay, the same routine that we went through before. The intro is just that, the pattern that we learn here. Um, it only happens that one, you know, that once at the start. I think it repeats twice actually, um, but back to back at the start, and then it doesn't happen again. So you're playing these chords to go through the rest of the song. If you need anything else uh, teaching more in depth, I'm happy to do a part two of this video. Just let me know in the comments below. The videos that get the most comments asking for a part two, I will do. Um, check out the website, Andy Piano, and my new YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button now. I'm sure I'll see you in another video of mine. Take care of yourselves, guys, and bye for now.